Once upon a time in the eerie town of Salem, there lived a peculiar girl named Wednesday Adams. With her pale skin, long dark braids, and a perpetual frown, Wednesday was not your average 12-year-old girl. She had an affinity for all things macabre and an insatiable curiosity for the darker side of life. Wednesday's family was equally as odd as she was. Her father, Gomez Adams, was a dapper and eccentric man who loved nothing more than engaging in bizarre activities. Her mother, Morticia Adams, was a strikingly beautiful woman with a taste for the morbid. Together, they formed a family that embraced the strange and unusual. One gloomy Wednesday afternoon, as the rain poured down outside the Adams mansion, Wednesday found herself feeling particularly restless. She had exhausted her collection of creepy dolls and had grown bored of her pet spiders. It was time for a new adventure. Determined to explore the unknown, Wednesday ventured into the forbidden attic of the mansion. The attic was a labyrinth of dusty old trunks, cobwebs, and forgotten treasures. As she rummaged through the piles of forgotten relics, her eyes fell upon an ancient book bound in worn leather. Intrigued, Wednesday carefully opened the book to find a collection of spells and incantations. Her heart raced with excitement as she realized she had stumbled upon a book of witchcraft. With a mischievous smile, she decided to try out one of the spells. Following the instructions meticulously, Wednesday gathered the necessary ingredients and began chanting the incantation. Suddenly, a puff of smoke filled the room, and when it cleared, a peculiar creature stood before her. It was a small imp with pointy ears and a mischievous grin. The imp introduced himself as Puck and explained that he was bound to serve whoever summoned him. Wednesday, delighted by her newfound companion, immediately put him to work. Puck would fetch her potions, cast spells, and even play pranks on unsuspecting visitors. Days turned into weeks, and Wednesday and Puck became inseparable. They would explore the darkest corners of the mansion, uncovering hidden secrets and laughing at their own wicked jokes. The Adams family, who had always been peculiar, became even more so with Puck's antics. However, as time went on, Wednesday began to realize that her newfound powers came with consequences. The spells she cast sometimes caused chaos and harm to those around her. She started to question the ethics of her actions and the consequences of her mischievous nature. With a heavy heart, Wednesday decided it was time to bid farewell to Puck and the world of witchcraft. She returned the ancient book to its rightful place in the attic, knowing that some things were better left untouched. From that day forward, Wednesday Adams embraced her peculiar nature, but without the use of magic. She found joy in the simple things, like reading books about the supernatural, caring for her pet spiders, and spending time with her eccentric family. Wednesday learned that true power lies not in casting spells or playing pranks, but in accepting oneself and finding happiness in the darkness. And so, she continued to grow, embracing her peculiarities, and becoming a symbol of uniqueness in the town of Salem.